Howdy, Possum Patty here, and little Stinky Winky Woo is getting some pets. Yes, she is. <laughs> we have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. Come on along. I went to three different Dollar Trees <laughs> looking for something, which I finally found in the last one. So let me just go through these bags here. And the first thing I bought were a few new mats. These are the plastic uh, table mats for the kitchen, but I like to use them. I also use these cloth ones and these do wash up nicely. I mean, they might stain a little bit depending on what I'm using, but I'll be throwing this one into the laundry. And I picked out these two new fresh ones. Life is meant to be lived. I love the colors on this one. And together we make a family. Family is the heart of our home. And a family is a patchwork of love. I'm going to start with this one. I know it's not spring yet. But hang on. I'm going to move the camera. There we go. Nice and fresh. Love these colors. All right. Let's keep going here. Um, reaching down to the floor here. Oh, <laughs> there's junk mail in the bag, so let me just separate that out. I didn't buy too many things at this one, but the two mats. And this is not for crafting. <laughs> i got to put this in the kitchen. I'm always looking for a spoon with the slots in it. And so I figured I'd pick another one up at the Dollar Tree. And I bought a fine liner pen. Oh, I wanted to try this. I saw this was new at our Dollar Tree. And it says it's quick drying, water resistant, not waterproof, and acid free, zebra, black, 0 0.8 millimeters needle point. So I wanted to see if this would work with watercolors because... You know, those microns are so expensive. So what I'm going to do with this pen is make a doodle on this watercolor paper. And then I'll give that a few minutes to dry and I'll come back and I'll put some watercolor on there and see if it'll work like a micron. Because this is a dollar twenty-five and microns come out to about three dollars and change a piece so we'll check that out in a few minutes and i did buy some more of these wooden die shapes and this will be for spring journaling and gardening i'll have to get a garden journal going and there is a little wheelbarrow and a flower in a pot. And then there's an empty pot. And then there's a watering can. Isn't that adorable? Look at that watering can. So you've got, let's see how many different shapes. You got the pot, you got the watering can, got the wheelbarrows. All right, so there you go. Four shapes and one, two, three, four, five, six, four shapes, six of each. And I don't need all of those, so you know what's gonna happen with those. And also, I saw somebody haul these and I thought, oh, those are adorable for journaling. I don't know why, I just love like fabric and wood and all this stuff to put in my journal. They're not too, oops, they're not too, um, too big. I was afraid they would be too big to put on a journal, maybe even on the cover of a journal. These little bees. And there's a whole bunch in there, let's see. And I also got the ladybugs, 12 pieces. And the bees are 12 pieces. And they're in the indoor garden department, crafting 12 pieces. 
so they're not over in the craft section they're in the garden section it's sort of like a gardening craft section <laughs> I guess I don't know gardening craft crafting for your garden and I thought these were adorable little ladybugs and little bees At the next Dollar Tree, I did find some more of these shapes and some of those cute little fences with the butterfly and the flowers. And no, I don't need all of these. These will be going into secret giveaways along with some of these strips of material. Now this one is very farm-like. It has the farmer's market down here. And then a really pretty one with teal and then the black and white check. So I thought maybe I could mix these up a little bit and make a set with a couple of these and these and the, and the material. And whatever else I find. So look at this. Look at the chicken and the cow and the farm. Very cute. These are like quilting strips. And this one has, it says home, live simply, and there's a water bucket and some, looks like almost like eucalyptus, doesn't it? So there's only one strip of each of these. I could cut it in half. <laughs> and, uh, and then the black and white and just make like a couple little sets with a little piece of material and a couple pieces of these wooden die cuts. And I got a pack for myself. And then I've got this one, which is like a farm truck with daisies. This one was so springy. So these are gonna be some fun giveaways when I do my journal, my garden journal for 2023. This one has a bicycle with sunflowers. Oops, this way, this way. Oh, I see, this is the bottom of the bicycle and the flowers are on the top, just the way it's cut. See, there's one there. And then the sunflowers, we all love our sunflowers. Gorgeous. And then the farm truck with the daisies in the back. So this giveaway will be for a little bit later in the season. I'm just going to make up some little garden slash farming giveaway packages. I will do that later. And that's why I bought these envelopes for giveaway things. And that is all I bought at that Dollar Tree. And at the third and last Dollar Tree, I did pick up some of this foam and poster board adhesive. This is beacon, almost like the Fabri-Tac because somebody was mentioning that for a dollar twenty for, well, these were a dollar for a dollar at the dollar store, they were selling a 1.75 fluid ounce. The prices at the dollar store have gone up to a dollar 25, but they've gone more than doubled in size on their beacon glue. So now they have it in the four ounce size. So I picked up just a couple of those to use for my crafting and no, yeah, I did. <laughs> I bought some little wooden bunnies and these will be giveaways for the year of the rabbit, these little bunnies. And I did get some more strips of fabric and this is very bright springy colors and one pack of these will go in a giveaway. So I found this crafting paper pad and there are one, two, three, four, eight designs. Really cute woodland critters. There's a deer and an owl with feathers and a bunny, sweet little bunny. Uh-oh, it's not good to see the foxwood feathers, is it? No, it's not. Cute little bird. And a squirrel. 
with his acorn and a raccoon, and cute little critters, and some mushrooms. So I bought two of those, so one of these will go into a giveaway. And it's not going to be one big giveaway. I'm going to do a lot of little giveaways. And the butterfly die cuts are out. And they come out early in the season. They're in the floral garden department. And then they're gone for the rest of the year. So if you want these, go look now. Because they, they go like hotcakes, let me tell you. And you get 33 die cuts and they're and they're gorgeous i mean for a dollar 25 you get 33 die cuts and the beautiful greens and blues and the pinks and i think these are the only three colors they come in but i'm also i'll keep one of each for myself because i really i use these a lot in my journal and then i will probably make up a couple of little packages with some of these pink ones and green ones and orange ones. A couple little packages to give away. So I'll be doing random giveaways and I'll be making up little packs, you know, with butterflies, material, wooden laser cuts, whatever. And these papers and not these sponges. I got these sponges for the kitchen. That goes over there with the spoon. <laughs> yes. So I'll be making up some little giveaway packs. And they will be in random videos. You must watch the videos. You must be a subscriber. You must comment below. And I will give the rules out in each video as a secret giveaway. And... You must be in the USA, and they are not YouTube sponsored. I cover everything. If not, I will in those videos. But if you want to give away this weekend, I am doing a secret, shh, don't tell anybody, video <laughs> giveaway in my Cray Spire unboxing video. So go over and watch the whole video for Cray Spire unboxing, and there is a secret giveaway in that video. These things will show up in other videos, but I'm already doing one giveaway this weekend. So, you know, just sit back, relax, sit back, relax, and watch some of my videos, and there will be more giveaways popping up. Thanks for coming along today and letting me share my happy happy with you. Bye-bye. I just happened to have this little bit of gifted watercolors on my desk here. So again, what I'm doing is just testing the Dollar Tree Sarasa or Sarasa Zebra Fine Liners to see how they hold up with watercolor. So I don't see any smudging. I got orange in the green there. Let's try this. I'm just gonna paint all over it, see if I can smooth the lines any. Hmm. Well, that seems to be working. I wonder about I'm going to let this dry and then write on top and see how that looks. So I don't see that the um, fine liner has really smudged anywhere. I did go over it with color. So it might be a little dull in places, but... And it writes on top just fine. So the only other thing would be to see how long it lasts, really. Although the microns usually don't last me very long. I, I tend to use them up real quick. So there's a close-up. 
and so far so good. It didn't drag any of the black into the color. It didn't blur the lines and it was able to draw on top perfectly fine. All right, so this is so far an A. <laughs> we'll give grade it an A. We'll give it an A grade until I see how long it lasts. Then the grade might change or it might go to an A plus. Thanks for coming along today. Bye bye.